Hi everyone, this is a, another video to uh, demonstrate the effects of recirculating the collapsing feel of a coil uh, back into the coil. And um, this test here is uh, a circuit that I have built with a 555 timer but has the ability to finally adjust the uh, duty cycle or pulse width as well. Um, and it's a MOSFET that is doing the switching so instead of my mechanical switch this one is using electronic components. So basically uh, I'm using uh, 120 volts from the grid and that's one of those uh, power uh, monitors there and once that 120 volts is gone through my bridge rectifier here this uh, voltage meter uh, is measuring the voltage at the capacitor so that's 170 volts at the capacitor and there's my capacitor there that's a 400 microfarad and the uh, the circuit is all set up with this coil here this is a coil that I made as well and I've got a tube here that I'll insert this huge neomagnet this magnet is very very strong it's an N52 uh, it's a 2 inch by 1 inch high and it weighs, um, I'd say, probably about two or three pounds. And um, I'll be activating the recirculating of the back EMF with this switch here and turning it off there. And basically, at the back there are my diodes that recirculate the uh, back EMF into the coil. And. Um, what uh, one individual is having a difficulty uh, believing that once the switch is on here that the uh, amperage or the power consumption goes down slightly and uh, it really does and um, uh, what I've done is I've attached my high quality high end uh, meter here to it and that'll give you the display there in milliamps and this uh, uh, has a, a good resolution and the frequency we'll be using is basically 66 Hertz that I have it uh, set to uh, on my 555 timer there and the duty cycle is about uh, 2% or less very very small uh, duty cycle and also, I've also attached a uh, light bulb here in a series uh, to the uh, negative side that's being turned on and off at the uh, at the uh, MOSFET there and you'll be able to see unfortunately this is a really cheap camera I have now uh, the other one I don't have it anymore it was a loner uh, so I can't really focus in but it kind of gives you an idea you should see the uh, filament glow once it's just a normal position and then once I flip the switch to uh, uh, recirculate the collapsing feel you should see the bulb filament that was glowing pretty well extinguished all right actually it is extinguished so there's you know there's a slight savings it's nothing extraordinary but the big thing is you're gonna see the activity of the magnet uh, really change with that so what I'll do right now is I'll just pause the camera and shut the lights off so you can see this bulb all right I've uh, started up the circuit now and uh, at this time, the uh, circuit, well, I not have enough light here to see, is running about 10 milliamps. Anyways, you can obviously see the bulb right here that is glowing, right? And what I'll do right now is I'll just uh, recirculate the back EMF. And there it is. The bulb is extinguishing. So you're obviously seeing a reduction in the, the amount of energy going through that bulb. And I'm not changing any other characteristics other than circulating the, recirculating the collapsing field. I'll uh, turn it back to normal. And now you see the bulb is coming back glowing. All right, I'll get closer there. All right, and I'll switch it once more and you see the bulb is going out slowly and there you go it stabilized itself alright and then back off again the bulb 
So, I mean, this is a resistive load. If it's not taking more current, or it's taking less current, you know, you should see it visually. Um, I've also looked at it with a uh, one, M, 1 ohm resistor with the uh, probes on the oscilloscope. And uh, you can definitely see it. It's much cleaner once the, uh, you recirculate the uh, collapsing field uh, on, the, uh, on the transistor. All right, so anyways, enough of that. Uh, let's pause the camera and start the st turn the lights back on. Okay, we're back, and uh, this is a better view of everything. I removed the bulb there of the, uh, the whole uh, unit. And uh, like I said, uh, right now it's set at about uh, 10 uh, milliamps draw. And uh, I'll flick the uh, switch, and there you go. It's dropping a couple of milliamps, and, uh, you know, obviously we're seeing exactly about a couple of milliamps drop with when we had the bulb here, you know, going out and then coming back on. So, you know, it's nothing extraordinary. But what's the interesting part is, I'll put in the neo-magnet here, and now you hear the activity. So we're just still at 10 milliamps. Uh, 168 volts and 120 volts AC fed in and once it's rectified into the capacitor we're at 168 volts and now that magnet is obviously you know there's no activity and I'll just flick the switch on here and look at that that coil has no extra energy being sent to it and it's levitating that magnet which weighs at least two pounds if not three pounds I don't have anything to weigh it with but you can check it into I mean it's two inch by three and in uh, two inches by one inch thick uh, cylinder magnet and there you go turn it off crashes back down we're at 10 milliamps turn it on we're at 8 point it's gonna be about it's two milliamps less about all right, 8.7, 8.6, 8.5, somewhere around there. All right, and the magnet is levitating. It is about a quarter inch off of the uh, coil itself because we've got to take into consideration the thickness of this plastic here. So it's being pushed away at 66 hertz, at least a quarter inch away from the coil itself. That's over two pounds without uh, adding any energy, changing any characteristics of the circuit. I find this interesting, and I have no idea why no one is really looking into this, and uh, who knows, maybe I'm missing something, but to me, this is quite substantial to be able to do that. That's more work with no extra energy added. As a matter of fact, I'm showing a slight decrease in the energy when this is activated. So, uh, I have the computer here set up and I'll pause the camera and I'll show you what the waveform looked like. Okay, so here's my USB scope on my laptop and in green here on the bottom, this is the pulse here to trigger the uh, transistor or the uh, MOSFET and uh, that's about a 2.1 percent uh, duty cycle if not if not less than two percent and here is the sense coil that I have mounted underneath my uh, ma main coil there I drilled a hole at the bottom of that wood to insert it so it's underneath it you can't see it but it's there so that's just a sense coil it's, but it's showing what's happening to the coil itself so there it is without the back EMF being circulated and you can obviously see you know the back EMF really well there there's a more expanded view and once I trigger it to recycle perfectly clean alright off triggered so it's very basic very simple uh, I don't see why uh, you know this isn't uh, looked into more, you know. 
So anyways, I'll post this video and thanks for watching. Bye now.